In the previous episodes, we looked at how we can use the Bone Master and its many VI features to do in circuit component and IC level tests. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Matrix VI and how this differs to the standard VI which Oliver demonstrated in the previous video. So, Oliver, can you help explain what the Matrix VI is and how it is different to the standard VI as demonstrated by yourself previously? Okay, of course. So in the last episodes, we talked about using VI to look between one point and another. Usually we were using that to look uh, either over a component or a series of components from the start of those components to the ground. Uh, this case, we'll be using Matrix VI, where we'll be looking at from each pin and using all the other pins as a reference. So we get to see the complete mapping of that IC. So from what I'm understanding here is the traditional VI gives you a good idea what is going on around the device and the matrix within the device, is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So if you just did the uh, 3D matrix VI on an IC like we did in the last episode, you'd get to see everything outside that IC, but you'd leave a bit of a black spot within your PCB and it's worth testing that with matrix VI. So it would be advisable to do both tests, would you say? Absolutely, to get that complete fault coverage. Uh, could we see a demonstration? Of course. So we'll use the test flow we used in the last episode. Yep. Uh, I'll, so all that time we we're using the 3D VI tester, this time we'll be moving on to the VI matrix tester. So what it looks like, it looks very similar to the last instrument. You click start and at the moment it'll go through every pin uh, using the, all the other pins as a reference. And because it's 2D VI, it doesn't take very long at all. Uh, right now it's doing 20 times 20 tests and it's doing, um, it can go up to 64 channels for, with one module and then you can have up to four modules, so that's 256 channels, that's 256 times 256 tasks done. A big number. Remarkably quick, yeah. And again, we can store this information and then compare. Of course, so uh, VI is a uh, comparison test, so click store and, I'll, and we create that mask, which then we can save in a test flow, uh, bring back another PCB, test it against that, and it'll tell you if that IC is working identically. Um, very interesting. So what, what about um, different components, different packages? Uh, I know that you've tested a SYC here. Yeah, so this is just one of the adapters we had on hand, but of course you can use any adapters, any accessories you've got at the moment. We've got smaller SIC, dual inline clip, and if you don't have the adapter, we've also got a PLCC. And then, if none of those suffice, you've all got, always got a handy probe, you can do it manually. I see, very interesting. Um, so we've been talking about component level tests so far, what about a board level test, can we do that? Of course you can do that. So using before, uh, you could use the edge connector. Sure. You can choose a reference on your board, so it can go from every one of those pins to that reference, mm -hmm. and then you can compare that against another board. Uh, with Matrix VR, what we can do is we can use the edge connector and do the reference like we did with this clip here yeah. inside the IC. Sure. And instead of using an uh, area on the board, like a ground or another component, and getting the circuit there, we can use uh, another pin. So it goes around that circuit, back to the other pin, across all the pins on your edge connector. I'm guessing, would you say that this is a good, I good way of in trying to isolate what the problem is? So you could do a board level test and then narrow down the, narrow down the board itself to find the problem. Absolutely. So like, like our philosophy is, you start system-wide and then you slowly narrow it down to the prob where the problem or the fault is. So it's a very quick and efficient way to find the problem yeah. here. That's great. Fantastic. Thank you, Oliver. In next week's episode, we will be focusing on the pulse output and how we can use this to test components in circuit with the Boardmaster.